In this Los Altos Art Docent lesson, you'll create a work of art that speaks. What do you think we mean by that? This will be a work of art that speaks a message to the viewer and will make it out of a paper collage. For this project, you'll need an assortment of construction paper, a piece of lined paper, some scissors, sharpies, and glue. To inspire your work, let's take a look at some examples of modern American art created since 1900. The camera was invented in the 1830s and went into widespread use when film was invented in 1890s. Because the camera could capture a scene, the modern American artist moved away from art intended to capture a scene to art designed to create a social, political, or emotional response from the viewer. They created art that speaks. This is a painting by Georgia O'Keeffe. How has she used symbols in her work? What do those symbols mean to you? Georgia O'Keeffe said that her bones were more alive than flowers. Why would she say this? The artist Stuart Davis used many symbols in this painting. What symbols can you find, and what do they remind you of? What do you hear when you look at the print? Davis said that this painting was a collage of a landscape that he painted years earlier. He hid 1922, the date of his earlier painting, in the collage. See if you can find it. You may think, I could paint that, but Mark Rothko actually used many layers of thinned paint to create depth and interest in his paintings. How many colors can you find? How do you feel when you look at the painting? How do you think he uses color to communicate? Would you feel differently if the center color were yellow? How would you describe the style of this print by Andy Warhol? It's an example of pop art where the artist uses easily recognizable everyday objects in bold, flat colors. Why do you think Warhol chose the dollar sign? What does that make you think about? This painting by Roy Lichtenstein is another example of pop art. Lichtenstein used a simple comic book style drawing and a speech bubble to make his statement. Why would he use icicles on the speech bubble? What do you think has happened or is about to happen in this print? Faith Ringgold chose an American flag with the words of the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights that guarantees freedom of speech for her painting. She included the names of many social and political leaders among the stars. Some of these people were leaders who fought against racism. Others were hate groups that believed in white supremacy. Why would she include both? Freedom of speech gives everyone the right to share their opinion even if their message is filled with hate and we disagree with what they have to say. Now it's your turn to create a work of art that speaks. You may use symbols, words, and numbers, colors, or objects to create a collage with a message. Instruction paper works well, but you may also use tissue paper, wrapping paper, aluminum foil, cutouts from magazines or newspapers. Think about different ways you might cut, tear, scrunch, or fold paper to create a 2D or 3D collage. Your finished collage should be mounted on a larger sheet of paper. Cut out a smaller piece of lined paper to add a title and a one or two sentence description of your collage. You may choose to copy the style of one of our modern American artists or create your own style. How could you use symbols in your collage? How would you use words?
how could you use color in your collage? Have fun creating and share your artwork.